G'day there everyone, Daniel Anderson here. Now you are about to learn how you can create a client dashboard with out of the box web parts and connecting different web parts on a SharePoint page using what we call dynamic filtering. No code, all done in the SharePoint user interface. So let's set the scene first a little bit. We'll take you through the architecture and then we will build out a dynamic page for us uh, all around our clients. So we can see I'm in a SharePoint site. I've got a list here that I've created to store our client information. I've got the client name, contact name, contact email address, and a website, all right? Simple columns, and that is our client list. I've also got a projects document library that I've set up here. Now I've got uh, my documentation for each project stored in document sets. Now the key here is that I've got a lookup column for client name that is looking up the clients out of this list here. So if we jump into projects, I'll jump into the library settings and I'll go more library settings. We can see that I've got a client name lookup column here that is looking up the uh, getting information from the client's list and it's getting the information in the title column. Now I am also bringing across the primary contact name as well. So when we're creating a lookup column, we can pick additional columns from the source if we wanted to bring that across and display that as well. So that's the setup of the projects. So I got a new project, new client project, and we can see because I'm using document sets, I've got this form. I can then select my uh, client name. So let's just create a new uh, client project. So I might go Copilot agent. I'll go Copilot sales agent here. Okay. So we will create a new project and we will tag it uh, with our particular client. We'll hit save. I've now got a new project document set, really, really simple set up in my library. We can see that it has now been set up. Now we've also got a document library here where we're storing our client contracts around these projects. So again, similar setup, I've got my contracts is or well, the, the files here, and all I've got is a lookup column, again, to the client name out of that client list. Now that's the key linkage that we're going to use. Now, how do we create this page? So I've got a blank SharePoint page here that has been created. I'm just gonna pop this into edit mode. Now, it's done, I've set this up with two columns, one third left, two thirds right. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add our client's list to the left-hand um, column here. So I'm going to select the lists web part and I'm going to choose the client's list. Now I'm going to go to the properties of this list here because we can see that I can choose the list. I can choose a view that I want to display of this list. I don't want the all items. I've got a view created that is just the simple, which is just the title. I don't want to show the command bar and I don't want to show the see all bar. All right. And I'm going to hit apply. So we can see I've got that web part set up. Now it's only showing the title column of the list. Now I'm going to add two web parts on the right hand side here. Now the web parts I'm going to use are the document library web parts. I'm going to choose the projects document library and then I'm also going to add another one for the contracts. All right, so document library and I'll go contracts. So I've got two libraries here set up. Now let's tackle the projects library first. So again here, I've got the projects document library. It's getting the views of that library. So we might just jump down into here. Uh, it's Let's just republish this first and then we might jump back in. All right, so let's just have a look, make sure we can see the views. I do have my views here. So let's edit. We'll go back to my projects web part there's our views. So I want to look at, I've created a, a view called dashboard. I'm going to use that as my view. I don't want to show the command bar or the see all bar. Now, this is where the, uh, the dynamic filtering gets uh, set up and configured. I'm going to turn this to on. Now the column in the projects to filter, I want to filter on the client name and the list of the library containing the filter values is my client's list on the left hand side. Okay, now the column containing the filters values is going to be the title. Now I'm going to hit apply, all right? 
I'm going to do the same thing with my contracts web part down here. I've got a view, a cut down view. I'm going to turn off the command bar and the see all. And again, I'm going to turn on dynamic filtering. So I'm going to say client name. The list is going to be client and the column containing the filters value is the title and I'll hit apply. So when I republish this, we can see that I've got my client dashboard set up. I've got my clients, I've got my projects, and I've got my contracts. Now I want to see the projects and the contracts for the Copilot Studio. So when I select that on the list, because we've got dynamic filtering set up on the two web parts, I can see that I've got one, two, three, four projects, and I've got one contract. If I wanted to choose a different client, you can see I've got one project, two contracts, and this one here, we can see that I've got one project and one contract, all right? So by using dynamic filtering, we can start to create some really um, interesting dashboard or one-page scenarios to be able to look across uh, different locations for different, um, or in this case, different clients. If we had potentially invoices or contracts or other bits and pieces around a client, then we could also do that and add additional web parts to uh, to this page as well and do some dynamic filtering on those as well. So I hope that brings you some value. Dynamic filtering, connecting your web parts on a SharePoint modern page can allow us to create some really good user experiences and, and make it easy for people to find content that they need.